Here's the integral we have for this uh, video. You want to give it a try? Go ahead and pause the video. I'll be right back. Okay, for this one, I'm going to use a u substitution. But first, I'm going to multiply the numerator and denominator by e to the 2x. We have another method that works fine. Post it in the comments, please. But multiplying 3 by e to the 2x. We get the integral of e to the 2x in the numerator, e to the 2x times e to the 2x is e to the 4x. But I'm going to write that as e to the 2x squared. And then e to the 2x times e to the minus 2x gives me e to the 0, that's 1. And this would be a dx here. So I'm going to let u equal to e to the 2x. Then du would equal to the derivative of e to the 2x, which is e to the 2x, times the derivative of 2x, which is 2. And then this would be dx here. Divide by 2, we get du over 2, we equal to e to the 2x dx. Now getting back to this integral here then, transform this into an integral involving the variable u. So notice here, e to the 2x dx, right here, can be replaced by du over 2. I'm going to put the 1 half out in front, and e to the 2x dx is your du then, with the 1 half out in front. And then in the denominator, e to the 2x squared, okay, so e to the 2x is u, so this will be u squared plus 1. And this integral here, this integrand here, you should recognize that as the uh, the one that leads to the arctangent. So this then will be, this will equal to one half, and this will be arctangent. And this will be u, u over a, where a here is one. It's in the form u squared plus a squared. So 1 squared is 1, so a would be 1. So it'd be u over 1, but u is e to the 2x. And that's over 1, but that still gives me e to the 2x plus the constant of integration. And then the coefficient here is divided by 1, but that's still going to stay the same. So the answer comes out to 1 half octangent of e to the 2x plus your constant of integration. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.